Hi, Serge. Hello. Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, hi uh, how are you, Carlos and Alvaro? Very well. We're doing well. Thank you. How's Los Angeles? Very good. Nice and sunny. Warm. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. How's LeVar Ball? He's in New York. <laughs> LeVar, uh, <laughs> he's still uh, <laughs> flapping that a little bit, talking <laughs> quite a bit. He hasn't said anything this morning? Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I haven't heard much yet. Well, the, the, the day has, ba has barely started. Don't worry about it. We've mm. got time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what's going on with the NBA? Uh, what do you see as uh, the teams on the rise? Well, we see, we see a team like Boston uh, dominating the league without being able to score. They are 20th in uh, offensive efficiency in the league, and, but they are first in, on defense, and they have won 16 in a row. Yeah. You see San Antonio yeah. without yeah. Kawhi doing well. Houston's doing well. They're basically tied with Golden State. No, it's a much more interesting season than uh, you sensed before it started. Much right. more interesting. Yeah. Uh, how about teams like Minnesota? How do you see them doing? I, I think that right now they are, they are uh, trying to gain their ground right now. They're, they're trying to find themselves as a team, even though they already have the talent. And uh, I think that at, at the end of the season, they are going to be one of the playoff teams, I, I think. But um, this is a team that is, you know, getting used to, to the way that they have to play. Uh, the fir first of, of, of all the things that they have to improve is the, their defense. Yeah. And uh, their offense is getting there also. They have uh, Carl Anthony Towns is unbelievable. Jimmy Butler is a very good player. But I think that they are still lacking on being consistent on the defensive end. And that's going to be their calling card because I don't think their offense, as good as the elements that make it up, is as explosive as some of the other teams. So they're going to have to win by playing top, top-notch defense, and they're capable of it. They've got, they've got the coach, they've got the system, they've got some of the players, but they have to have a mindset that that's how we're going to win these games. That's how we're going to beat Houston. That's how we're going to beat Golden State. That's how we're going to beat Cleveland if we face them in the finals. We're not going to outshoot them and outscore them. We're going to have to outdefend them. And how about the Los Angeles Clippers? Oh, well, at the beginning of the season, they looked like they were – uh, th like uh, their situation was uh, that they improved even though they didn't have Chris Paul. Uh, but uh, I mean, what do you call addition by subtraction, right? But that's not the case anymore. Yeah. Uh, right now they are uh, in the middle uh, of a losing streak. And uh, I don't know. I think that they are lacking leadership right now. Yes. Uh, on the players, not on the, on the part of the coach. Uh, but uh, something is wrong there because yeah. uh, they started playing very well at the beginning of the season. And right now, I mean, they, they lost to, they not only lost to, to uh, the Knicks last night, they were blown out. I mean, they, they didn't even want to be there. The, w w in the NBA, a three-game losing streak is something that makes a coach very nervous and makes the players begin to react uh, and begin to examine their, their bad habits and what they need to do to get better. When it reaches nine, then there's some disconnect. And I agree with you. At some point, someone in that team that plays a lot of minutes says, it stops here. Right. I'm going to win this game, mm -hmm. and you're going to do what I say, and we're going to do this this way, and we're going to stop this nonsense. You don't see that. At least you don't see that on the court. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, as far as the Lakers go? Trust the process? <laughs> West Coast version? Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, I think that they are they, they're doing well. I mean, they, I don't think that they are a playoff team yet, but they are taking the, the, the steps that they need to take to be a, a very good team in the, in the near future. Um, you have to be patient with, uh, with Lonzo Ball, definitely. People are, you know, they want to kill him because he's not the superstar that he was meant to be. He's not that yet because uh, he has uh, some uh, problems with, uh, with shooting ball. But uh, he has had three uh, triple doubles already, okay? Uh, his short career, and uh, you got. I love this guy Kuzma. He's going to be a very good player in this league. So I think that they're going. They're taking the right steps to become a good team. The one thing, and I mentioned this to Carlos before. The one thing I'm noticing, you know, you have Luke Walton who comes from Golden State. Golden State has a goal of having 300 passes per game. That's a lot of passing. LA is not there yet, but they're beginning, beginning the process to share the ball, to move without the ball 
And that's what eventually will lead to successful basketball. Again, it's not yet ingrained. They're not great at it yet. You're beginning to see that ball move and the players move. And for young players to do that, it's quite extraordinary. So trust the process in L.A. Right. And the Sixers have been pretty shocking too out there, huh? I like the Sixers. The Philadelphia Sixers. I think yeah. the Sixers are very entertaining. They're very well coached. Um, you talk about a young team that's accepted roles. They have, I think. Yes, and, and Ben Simmons is a, is a real deal. I mean, uh, people have been talking about all those rookies. Ben Simmons is the one. Yeah. He looks like he'll be a rookie of the year this year, huh? Yeah. Well, listen, Serge, thank you very much. I think we've got another one coming up. We wish we were with you in L.A. <laughs> all right. Thank well, you. Have a great day, and it was great talking to you. Same here. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Serge. Thank you. Bye-bye.